Right, this video for a Honda CRV. This is a 2 litre EX automatic, uh, 2007 car. Um, cars only covered just over 62,000 miles, so it's a lovely low mileage vehicle. Finished in this lovely sort of silver champagne colour, looks absolutely gorgeous on the car. Um, but it's also been fitted with a very expensive option of the dynamic body kit, so um, you've got sort of rear spoiler, front and rear bumper extensions. And this car's also had very recently fitted some chrome side steps. So it's a really, really good looking car. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just go around the car and just pick up any, any sort of minor sort of imperfections that may be there so you can know about them. Um, if you don't know what the dynamic pack is, basically this it has got a much bolder looking front bumper there with those sort of slats by the front fog light there. Um, but really fabulous order very very few stone chips I can see on the bonnet there's obviously gonna be one or two but they're minuscule so I'll start on the off side of the car uh, front wing is I can't see an imperfection on it front tires got tons of tread and alloy wheel uh, apart from the tiniest little bit of curving on the outside has got nothing on it at all um, coming down the side you can see there the side steps very very crisp panel work uh, I can't really see an indentation on there anywhere I'll uh, just do this rear wheel first again alloy completely free of corrosion no curbing and again a tire looks like it's got tons and tons of tread on it but just show you there let's come down just to show you how crisp the flank is really really tidy coming around the back of the car uh, well there's the first tiny little mark I can just see just a tiny little one there but I say just be touched in take two seconds to do it around the back of the car again with a dynamic pack you get the that extra little plastic section underneath the, the, the black insert on the bumper there and um, what changes the look of the car is this rear spoiler I mean it doesn't seem like a lot but it just completely changes the stance of the car because a much kind of heavier hug the road kind of look and especially with those side steps looks fantastic come down this side again really really clean and crisp lovely order there uh, no marks on this um, rear near side wing Again, rear tyre, tons of tread, alloy wheel, can't fault it at all, absolutely superb. And again, panel work on the side, really, really, really clean and crisp. There's going to be the odd minor imperfection somewhere, so I don't think there isn't anything at all. Um, or oh, just to point one thing out, before I, well, I'll do this wheel, last wheel first, actually. Again, nothing on it, and the tyre is very good indeed. Um, we have someone managed to pinch the headlamp washer there. Uh, we've ordered a brand new one from Honda and that'll be fitted before the car is sold. Coming to the boot area of the car, absolutely massive boot on the CRVs. Uh, you can see here the uh, rear parcel cover, um, tonneau cover rather, rear shelf is all intact which was there from new, quite often those are missing on these cars. And um, This little centre is nice, quite a nice little design that just pops up if you wanted to or if you want you can actually lay it down, you can see here where the plastic is shaped you can put it down so it just lies absolutely flat on the floor underneath but it's all in really very 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 nice condition in there coming to the back of the car here uh, rear near side door card very good indeed um, mostly very good there's a little, tiny little mark on the door handle there absolutely huge amount of rear leg room in these crvs it, it, that's why it's such a popular family family car um, this is with the seats in their rearmost position there is a bar actually underneath here as you'd see on a normal car on the front seat you can just lift that up and put the, um, the seat forward a fraction as well um, I can't do now because I'm trying to hold the camera but basically behind the driver's side passenger seat really clean no damage on there storage, storage one there again equally good on that one as well so that isn't a given on CRVs, you know, because they are used for family use, quite often you find um, that kids, notably mine if they're listening, uh, manage to kick the back of the driver's seat and the uh, passenger seat and they can mark them very easily indeed, but this has been kept in very, very nice order indeed. Alright, coming to the front of the car, sill area is all very nice and clean. I see electric adjustment on the driver's seat here, there's a full set of original Honda mats in the car as well. Uh, but it's all been kept in very nice order. Driver seat's really good, very nice condition there. A tiny little bit of wear on the bolster there, but it's, it's literally just it's, it's very very small indeed. But the actual main seat itself is completely just doesn't you can't detect any wear in the bolsters at all in the actual cushions underneath rather. It's the foam work, 
it's really lovely. Obviously, EX spec, so you get this lovely big panoramic roof. So on days like today, you can just pop it shut if you want to to keep the sun out, and then open it up with the flick of a switch. All right, so we're inside the car now. I'm just going to pan around the dashboard. It's really lovely condition. Uh, very, very well made interiors in these cars. Obviously, on the Honda's here, you get this little stowage area. Pop that open and shut. Obviously, the glove box underneath there. Here we've got a fully functional sat nav system. Just going to close the panoramic roof actually because it sometimes causes a lot of reflection. That's a bit better. So there we go. So sat nav system all fully operational. Obviously pop it into reverse there and then that activates a lovely crystal clear rear parking camera as well. Um, if you want to gain access to the CD just press a button and that opens the system up for you and press to close on that one. Coming down here controls for your dual zone climate control really lovely simple to use uh, it was a blisteringly hot day with 29 degrees today and it's that is ice cold air coming out of there so that's all suggesting the air conditioning is in very very fine order automatic gear lever again in top condition center storage area here with heated seats not that you're going to need them today but they're all fully functional obviously front and uh, drivers and passengers one as well coming across Multifunction steering wheel, so we've got audio top left, cruise control top right, and hands-free functions bottom left there. Um, auto lights, auto wipers, and then coming to the dashboard itself, you can see 62,062 miles. Um, engine is running, as you can see by the rev counter, and apart from the fuel light, there's no warning lights on the vehicle whatsoever. But just come across here, obviously electric window switches, Ring mirror switches there, they're power folding as well, just press the button there just to show you they all work exactly as they should. Finally, just to show you, obviously full owner's manual pack and the original lock and wheel nut set uh, that came with the car from new to match the vehicle. Um, there should be after this a road test of the vehicle if in a couple of seconds time. Right, this is a road test video for Honda CRV. ND07 EHP. This is a 2 litre EX automatic. Mileage at the start of this brief road test is 62,055 miles. Reason for the road test is basically we're selling to customers from all over the near continent and extremes of the UK. And uh, we feel as a company it's right that if you're going to come and see our cars and invest the time, energy, and money come and see us then the least we can do is to show you the cars in operation and if there's anything I need to relay back to you on the test drive then I can do so for you. Worth pointing out that the test drive is done on the roads so that you'll be road testing the vehicle on yourself if you come and see the car. What I try and do in the videos is basically do much the same as you do yourself and that's to go through the car one by one and I'll start as I always do with the engines. Uh, obviously this is a 2 litre VTEC Honda engine, cam chain driven so there's no belts on them. As a, an example one, it starts absolutely on the button, settles to a very very even, very uh, settled idle, very quiet idle, no noises, no vibrations. Um, engine pulls as sweet as a nut, it really is a wonderful wonderful unit. My wife's got one identical to this, slightly newer one. And it's a, they're fabulous, fabulous cars. But as an example of one, the engine in this is without fault. I, 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 I can't fault it. It's, uh, it's, it's very, very, very sweet indeed, as you'd expect given such a low mileage on the car. There's no warning lights on the dashboard on the, on the car relating to the engine or anything else for that matter. The only light illuminated is a, a low fuel light on there. Engine runs through to the gearbox of the vehicle. Um, obviously, automatic gearbox, full auto very typical Honda gearbox, uh, you know, beautifully beautifully engineered, very well judged ratios on the gearbox um, and again as an example of one it selects its gears beautifully, pop it into neutral there, pop it into drive, there's no clonks, there's no delays, there's no bangs on any car with automatic, um, notably comes from the German stuff, just pop it into neutral then put it into a drive. If there's a delay and then it engages or if it delay engages with a thump you should just walk away from them. Um, but we've never touched one of these, so you know I, I, I don't envisage ever having to, even with some very high mileage ones. Um, but as a gearbox, it changes gears actually quite quickly for a um, for an automatic, uh, and it does it, you know, very very smoothly indeed. 
it's um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely gear change, and it's, so it just gives a feeling of you know really good engineering, which is what you'd come to expect from any Honda car. Um, so in terms of the the, the powertrain of the vehicle, engine, gearbox, faultless. I, I, I can't find a fault with them. They, they feel as tight to me as you know any of the you know very low margin, but quite new stuff that we've sold. Um, it's uh, it drives really really nicely indeed. Um, let's drive along here. Basically, tracking bullet straight on the car. Um, there's not a hint of vibration or wear coming back through the steering wheel at all. Um, the lovely direct steering on the CRVs for you know what is still you know an upright four-wheel drive car. Um, you know it does change direction very nicely. The steering again, as with the engine and gearbox, it just I, I can't detect a, a hint of wear. You know a car can still you know drive safely, but have a little bit of wear in the system where you can feel it, but it just feels a bit loose and a bit sloppy. Uh, where you might have a ball joint or track rod end with a bit of wear in it, but there's nothing at all. It's really tight and direct. Um, same with the suspension actually, uh, again while I'm on the same note, sort of the same theme, you hear it going over a bump like that, um, but what you don't get is any kind of aftershocks, any kind of resonances or clonks or bangs coming up, and that will be things like, you know, uh, most commonly be what they call these anti-roll bar, uh, these anti-roll sort of link arm things, and they can chatter away, especially on sort of undulations. Um, but there's not a squeak or a peak coming out of the suspension at all. They it's a very very nice riding car I mean I've, I've had absolutely tons of them so this is you know, a real busman's holiday for me doing this video um, you know it, they they're very comfortable but they what they don't allow is huge amounts of body roll through the corners and that's quite a difficult thing to achieve on you know what it's quite a tall car and the Honda got this one absolutely spot on um, so it does without kind of some of the roly-poly antics of some of them uh, but also it does without the unbearable harshness of things like the X, BMW X3s and X1s um, on anything other than, you know, they'll drive nicely on these roads, but you hit any kind of B roads or city centre roads and they are an absolute joke of a car. And I've had a couple and, you know, love driving them, um, apart from going on roads like that where they're just, you know, truly unpleasant. Um, but no, it, it's, you know, it... it drives really well. I'm just going to give the brakes a, <coughs> pardon me, I got a bit of a cold, a uh, bit of a dab, bear for me one second. So the brake pedal, nice and firm. When it goes down, the nose is dipping down nice and straight, it's not left or right. I can't feel any pulsing or undulation back through the brake pedal of the car or any noises coming back up. Obviously, being an automatic, there's more pressure put on the braking system of the vehicle, so you need to check those quite quite thoroughly. Um, but in, in all I've felt so far, absolutely fine. Again, let's drive along at speed. I'm listening out for kind of wind noises that really shouldn't be there, where you may have a wind intrusion from a badly fitted windscreen or, you know, a pair of seal on a, a window or otherwise, and it's not. It's, 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 you know, the noise it makes is exactly what you expect from any CRV. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're quiet, refined cars on the move, um, and this is exactly as I'd expect one to be. Looking inside the car, really, really lovely condition. Um, any wear is minimal on the car uh, a nice full set of honda mats in here dashboards really nicely done and they are quite beautifully built they really are uh, more of that in a second by comparison um but the dashboard um you know because these are family cars and quite often you find with crvs we go and look at lots of them mechanically they can be in very fine order but they can be a bit bashed about where they're kind of used as mobile play dens by kids um, and even honda can't sort of stop people scratching or marking them but this is in really lovely condition. All the plastics look in really fine order. All little storage areas, pardon me, um, in top condition. Every switch I've pressed has got all its paint is still on there. There's nothing being rubbed off. You know, I can, there's no discernible wear I can feel in it at all. Um, sat nav, nice, simple, dead easy to use one. Obviously that doubles up as a rear parking camera when you um, pop it into reverse. Uh, press the button here. That opens it up so it gives you access to the CD player behind it and the, the ROM for the um, CD drive, sorry, for the, the SatNav system. Coming to the rest of the dashboard, um, climate control system, obviously dual zone so you can do it side to side. Um, again, really dead simple, easy to use, everything works perfectly. It's now 24 degrees outside, at long last we've got a proper summer's day and that's lovely cold 
chilled air coming into the, the, the car itself, so it's in really nice order. Coming across the dashboard, typical Honda dashboard, really clear, lovely, easy to read um, display. Um, temperature gauge a third of the way up, which is absolutely spot on on any Honda car, whether diesel, petrol or otherwise. Um, that's exactly where it should be. Pixelation on every display works absolutely perfectly. Um, obviously you've got auto lights, auto wipers. On here we've got multifunction steering wheel, so you've got obviously audio controls top left, cruise control top right, just press the cruise there, cruise main comes on and then I've just got to press set. Take my foot off, just want to check it all works and that works absolutely perfectly. You can accelerate by using that and slow down using that one, but they're all absolutely spot on. Down the bottom here we've got the voice activation system there as well. Um, but the whole the steering wheel again, as with the rest of it, displays and exhibits no sign of wear at all. It's absolutely incredible, it really is. Um, but the whole car drives beautifully. You know, again, if there's something to criticize, I would and I do, as I've done on previous videos. Uh, but if there isn't, I won't, quite obviously. But just as a comparison, as I said, you know, if you're looking at other makes, um, you know, when you're shopping compared to one of these things, you've just got to bear in mind the running costs of them. Um, the Hondas have, by a country mile, the best reliability record of any car in its class, alongside perhaps maybe the Toyota RAV4 which is a slightly blander um, competitor. But all the others, the Germans, you know, case point, we won't sell them. Um, they've given us too many problems and our customers too many problems. Um, but anyway, that kind of concludes the video. I hope it's been of help to you. If there's anything I've missed out, then please don't hesitate, do give us a call.